Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our daily devotion inside. It's a joy to have you to come online to join us to listen to the Word of God. The start of the day. Amen. I want to share with today a devotion entitled Victory in Christ or Victory in Him. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 says, But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the first century leaders in the Roman world, the imaginary was familiar. The victorious Roman general returning from battle, leading his soldiers and the captives into the city. Citizens lying the streets applauding while the aroma of celebratory incense filled the air. Paul uses that Im image to say that Christ lead or leads his followers in a victory procession through every difficulty in life. How many of you know, every time when you go through challenges, struggles, problems, difficulties in life, or sicknesses or diseases in life, he is there to lead you and I through at the end of it. He will lead you through a victory procession as you hold on, trust Him, and believe in Him. What do I mean by that? Let's read 2 Corinthians 2, verses 14 and 15. But thanks be to God, for through, our, through what Christ has done, He has triumphed over us so that now wherever we go, he uses us to tell others about the Lord and to spread the gospel like a sweet perfume. As far as God is concerned, there is a sweet, wholesome fragrance in our lives. It is the fragrance of Christ within us, an aroma to both the safe and unsafe all around us. You know, the Christian's victory is through Christ. The victory over the world, over the flesh, over the enemy of our soul, the devil, over sin was won by the cross and the, and the empty tomb of Jesus Christ. He did for us what we cannot do for ourselves. We have victory now and for eternity only because of the victory Jesus won for us on the cross, died, rose again on the third day and lived, standing, sitting at the right hand of the Father. Therefore, if we are to experience victory in this life, through all the thick and thin, through all the challenges of life, it will come only as we depend on Him. One more time. If we are to experience victory in this life, it will only come victory as we depend on Him to lead us through, to guide us through, to protect us, and grant us the grace and help us to go through. Amen? As Paul wrote in Galatians 2.20, the life, the life we now live is the life of Christ because Jesus died, rose again. When you receive Him into your heart as your God and personal Savior, you receive Him into your heart and He lives within you. One more time. Galatians 2.20 tells us that the life we now live is the life of Christ in us. One more time. In us as we keep our faith and walk with Him. If you need a victory in your life today, begin every day and every day by renewing your faith, your commitment and your love and your heart in Christ in whom all our victories are to be realized if you and I hold firmly, focus, and live in Jesus and for Jesus. Amen? Francis Schaeffer says, The spiritual battle, the loss of victory, is always in the taught world. One more time. The spiritual battle, the loss of victory, is always in the taught world. Whoa. If you're able to conquer this in your mind, that Jesus is your hope, Jesus has given you victory and can help you to go through, you already 
in at the verge of victory in your life journey, whatever challenges and obstacles may be in front of you. Amen. Hold on, hang on, depend on Christ, and He will lead you through. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, bless your people with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have a great day and God bless you.